What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to the channel and good morning. Um, I hope everybody is having a great morning so far. Um, so last week, you guys know I did not post any videos. Um, reason for that is I'm just tired. Um, it's January. Um, and at my job, it's what we call peak season, so it is very, very busy. Um, and I just didn't have the energy nor the time to record for you guys. And it's still peak season, however. Um, I got caught up on my sleep. I have that energy now. So we're going to go ahead and jump right back into it today. Um, I haven't uh, really been in uh, my reptile room as much as I wanted to. Um, like I've, you know, obviously checked on my reptiles. I've been feeding them, and then because I've been feeding them, um, now it's time to clean. I know these cages are a wreck, so today we're gonna go ahead and clean the snake rack. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys along with me. So stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. So welcome back to the video. Like I said today, we're gonna be spot cleaning the entire rack today. And I wanted to bring you guys along with me because obviously I didn't post any videos last week, but also I like to try to document everything that I do in this room so you guys know what's going on and I can let you fill you guys in on all of the changes. So um, we're gonna start on the first tub. First thing I'm gonna do, uh, it's Loki, so we're gonna go ahead and pull him out. He'll probably bite me, which he did lunch. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put him in a holding tub so we can go ahead and get this tub uh, straight to together. So, all right, so we got Loki in his holding bin. So what I'm gonna do now is literally, basically take everything out and basically I'm just sifting through um, the coconut fiber, looking for any poops, as you can see. I still got some leftover shed in here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. First things first, I usually I always dump the water. Anytime I clean the enclosure, I dump the water all out. Alrighty, so now, like I said, I'm gonna sift through and pull out any old shed or anything uh, of that nature that I don't want in here. And I've done this video on, on this before. Um, so for my new followers, this is kind of, sorry, my new subscribers, this is the process that I used. Now, as you can see, the shed in here is all broken up and everything like that. Now, this is not due to a bad shed. This is actually due to him shedding and I wasn't able to get in here. So he just kind of ripped through it from it still being in here. So um, like I said, I haven't been in the room as much as I've wanted to um, just because of last week was just crazy busy and I was tired. Um, I made sure everybody had water. Um, I did feed everybody and here we are. Um, but besides that guys, we are pretty much through January and it is now obviously 2021. How is, everybody drop a comment below and let me know how the first month of the year went for you. I'm very interested to see how it went for you. For me, uh, as you guys see, it's just been crazy busy. Um, I'm trying to, you know, keep up, just make sure I have a balance on things and just maintain what i got going on here um nothing nothing new nothing exciting really going on i'm um, just waiting for the big move and that's already become somewhat hectic because i um, may not be able to move on time uh, due to covid a lot of people aren't wanting to move so where i'm looking to move um, they may not have anything available at a later time so I'm really hoping, I'm sorry, they may not have anything available until like a month later, until like a month after my lease is up. So I'm really hoping that I don't have to wait that long because that's just gonna be stressful. Um, definitely can't stay here. Um, the baby needs her own room and I need a lot more room uh, for these reptiles, which is, you know, one of the biggest, well, those are the two biggest reasons that I am moving, um, so. Fingers crossed, guys. But anyways, how are you guys doing so far this year? Uh, was the beginning of the year better than last year? Was it the same? Do you feel like the year's changed? Let me know how everything is going for you guys. Almost done with this tub. So one thing I noticed about this guy, he sheds like crazy, which is a good thing. I'm um, just, I don't think I have any other snake that actually sheds this much. Um, I mean, but 
like I said, I'm glad he's growing, especially considering how he started, uh, you know, with his first like introduction or well, second video on YouTube being, you know, the vet visit. So seeing how he bounced back is just crazy and I'm really happy for it. So that is pretty much it for Loki. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and give him a spray down and make it nice and uh, humid in there for him. Make sure the hydration is up. And you guys know me, I, uh, I always do water last um, because I pull all water bowls, all water bowls, blech. pull all water bowls and I put the water in there last. So uh, when I close this up, it's not gonna have any water. It's not that I'm not putting water in there. I do water bowls last. So got the uh, handy dandy spray bottom. We're just gonna give it a nice little Spray down for him. I don't think I've actually ever done a cleaning video where I keep the tubs in the rack. Usually I pull them out and I'll set up like a little area where I uh, clean the tub. So this is a first. Putting his hide back in. A little bush back in there. And then here we go. I guess I gotta put the snake back in there. That would definitely help. And there's that. So now we're gonna move on to the next snake, which is my red tail boa. This Nakia looks like she's either in shed or about to go in shed. So we're definitely gonna get her enclosure kind of squared away and get that few uh, humidity up. So let's see, there she is. Yeah, it looks like she's definitely going in the shed. Her colors are a little dull. She's looking a little wrinkly. Alrighty, so starting on hers, and I see we got some pieces that got wet from the water. It looks like we're gonna pull those out, pull her plant out. And for my new subscribers, um, I know there's the ever, never ending rather, um, you know, debate or argument, you know, about snake racks and tubs. Um, I'm kind of neutral on the subject. Um, reason being is I feel like they're great for, you know, growing out an animal or establishing an animal. Um, however, this rack that I have here is no way, shape or form the final enclosure for any of my snakes. Um, obviously I have a Burmese Python in here, so we all know that they definitely can't stay in any size rack. I don't care what size rack you have. It's not going to work. But, um, for me, like I said, I use it for establishing new snakes and, and, and really, um, helping the snake, um, just establish, um, you know, their time with me. Um, so just like I was talking about recently, once I move, I will actually be able to upgrade everyone. Um, so my goal is in the end result, my goal is to get rid of all glass enclosures and all snake racks. Um, although I am getting ready to build somewhat of a bigger snake rack and that's literally just to buy some time for me to start building these enclosures. Um, at the end of the day, my end goal is to not have any more snake racks or any glass enclosures. So hopefully that eases your mind. Like I said, I know some people see the rack on someone's channel and they're just like, ugh. Disgusting, that's a horrible reptile keeper. I get it, I understand. Um, however, like I said, I'm neutral on it. Um, if the animals are, you know, are healthy and they see, seem to be doing well, then you know, I'm not really much I can say or do. Not to mention, I can't really worry too much about everyone else's reptiles because they're not mine, they're not here. I can only worry about what's in my reptile room. Um, and even then, you know, some people still may have something negative to say, negative to say and that's fine. Um, I'm never the type of person that's gonna argue with someone, especially not on the internet, um, in most cases. I'm not gonna say in all cases. In most cases, um, however, um, it's just, arguing with someone over the internet definitely isn't gonna change that person's opinion. So, why? I don't know. Anyways, I'm ranting, I don't know why, but let me get her tub all squared away. Uh, she's pretty tidy for the most part. She is not too bad. So we're gonna get her in here. And we're gonna give her 
we're gonna give her a heftier spray down than we gave Loki because she is in shed and we want that shed to come off in one whole piece. So I do have some exciting news. I guess I lied at, about things I got going on. I, I just bought, um, just posted it on my Instagram. I just bought a gimbal. Um, and for those of you that are not you know, up to date on like the photography or electronics, a gimbal basically is, um, it's like a tripod, um, but a uh, tripod mechanism, but it moves and basically what it does is it, it enables you to get more like smoother footage um, of, you know, whenever you're out recording, especially like when you're in motion. So I know I've done like a lot of reptile show videos and I've done videos where I went and toured, you know, a couple reptile stores and I just was not satisfied with the way that video turned out because it was so shaky. And I have, you know, handheld tripod tripods and I try to hold the camera still, but sometimes when you're talking, you kind of focus on something else and it kind of gets away from you. So I bought a gimbal and I'm still playing with it, but I'm very excited to use it guys um, and give you guys some cool footage I'll definitely be doing a lot more b-roll and everything like that of the reptiles so expect that here in the near future like I said I literally just bought it Friday it just got here yesterday so I've been playing with it here and there um, slightly challenging but I'm getting the hang of it so I can't wait to see how it turns out I'll definitely like I said do some b-roll footage maybe in the beginning of the videos I guess somewhat like a, maybe like a new intro. We'll see. Let me know if you guys will like that as well. Trying to, you know, try new things, switch it up a little bit. Um, give you guys, you know, different different things to enjoy. Um, me personally, I know having a reptile room to some people gets kind of boring. And to be honest, it will probably get boring to me. If I could, I would definitely, you know, go down to Florida or somewhere warm. And set up, you know, buy a zoo or some type of farm with a bunch of different, you know, with a bunch of land and, you know, just make a reptile zoo with some really dope outdoor enclosures. However, I am in Ohio, so I can't do that. Um, I don't think I'll ever move to Florida anyway. It's not for me. Um, so, I mean, hey, but that's just me ranting again. I don't know, I guess it's been a while since I have been able to talk to you guys, so. I figured why not? Why not talk while we clean tubs? I kind of wish it was like a live video so you guys could actually talk back because it kind of feels like I'm talking to myself right now, but you know, that's the beauty of YouTube videos. So let me actually grab Nakia and we'll put her back and then we'll move on to the next thing. All right, so bam, here she is, here she is camera can pick it up there we go there she is so you can see she's in shed and soon enough guys I will be definitely doing a video on BCC versus BCI and the differences and um, everything like that um, a lot of people confuse you know common boas like Luther or um, Central American or anything like that they confuse them with actual red tail boas most people will just get a boa and call it a red tail boa and that is, in fact, not the case. Um, definitely gotta do your research, guys. Make sure you know what you have and what you're talking about. Any of the morphs, uh, we're talking, you know, Sun Glow or, you know, any of those VPI, Motley, you know, like Bane, that is all gonna be BCI. But whatever, like I said, I may be doing the video on that in the future. Let me know if you guys will be interested in that as well. Um, but I can definitely do a video on that. Speaking of BCIs, the snake we have next is Bane. Actually, let me lower the camera for you guys so you guys can see. Alrighty, so here's Bane. As you guys can see, he's always eager to come out. So we're gonna go ahead and pull him out. Give you guys a good look at him as well. He's looking nice. Um, I really love his motley pattern, like that tail. Can't get enough of it. Can't get enough of it. There we go, that's better. Alrighty, enough of Bane. Let's get his tub out the way. Alrighty, let's get his tub out the way. I'm actually gonna get down here. So we're gonna remove the 
water, of course. I'll pull out the hide, of course. And yes, Bane has some poop back here. Toss that out and pull out any aerates or anything of that nature. And Nice and clean. It's probably my favorite boa that I have in my collection. Um, obviously Luther because he's a big, gentle giant. Um, but Bane, um, so he's, he's so chill and just his uh, his pattern, um, I think, is the best of course so um yep i mean i can't i can't be the only one that literally you know gets my snakes and thinks they're the most amazing animals on the planet if i am you guys are doing something wrong you're supposed to think your animals are the best which i do of course Alrighty, so that was quick we are We are going to once again spray it down. Boom. We are going to put his hide back. And his tub is very boring, but once again, um, it's literally a grow out tub eating for me he does everything I need him to do so um, one two which is the, the, the tub under him the berm and the scales Texas red snake are all gonna be getting a four by two by two the berm will probably go straight into a six foot just because he's probably gonna outgrow that four by two by two in like a day <laughs> not literally but they grow very fast um, but I think a six foot will hold him a lot better um, and longer uh, for the time being. And he'll really get to stretch out because he's, he's about three and a half, maybe four foot now. All right, so let's get Bane back in there. Looking good. It's a beautiful snake right there. The tail. Get him back in there. And then once again, guys, I do the water last. Um, so... Once I get all the bowls clean, they will have water back. So, on to our last two snakes. All right, we have Zeus right here, everybody. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab him. And as like I said before, he is all talk. He'll hiss, he'll do whatever, um, but gentle giant once he's out. So we're gonna go ahead and put him in his holding bin as well and get his tub cleaned up. Lighting it up on the urates. I'm thinking I'm probably not gonna put um, that log back in there just because um, I wanna make sure he has somewhat room just for a little while until we can get that bigger rack built and that should literally be in a couple of weeks. Just gotta move some stuff around and time just has not been on my side. Bam, he is all set. All 
All right, so we have one more snake in the rack and you guys have seen me, well, you guys have heard me mention this snake a couple times throughout this video. Um, so let's go ahead and get to it. This is Qbert, the scaleless Texas rest. Here he is. Here he is. I was talking to one of my friends. They're not in the snakes, and they they said I should have named him Beetlejuice because he is just creepy, and he reminds them of Beetlejuice. What do you guys think? You guys think I should change his name to Beetlejuice or keep it Cubert? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> All right, now this guy repeatedly wrecks his tub, which is why I can't. To be honest, he's probably the worst snake to keep in a tub, but. Um, he can't be trusted in any other enclosure because he's gotten out on me twice. And the first time I figured it out, but the second time, not so sure. So, um, I just keep him in here now that he's fatter and I don't have to worry about him getting out, which is odd. You would think uh, an enclosure with a self-sustaining lock would be more secure, but now I just don't want to chance it with, with the baby and such and not that I think he'd hurt her. Um, but I'd rather not even take that chance. So he stays in here. He's been locked up consistently with no issues for about a year now since, since his last incident, we'll call it. So he's doing good, nice, quick and easy. And we're going to go ahead and get him back. Alrighty, everybody, that is the end of today's video. Once again, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a cleaning video or a tub video, which I'm, I'm always in here cleaning, but I try to switch it up for you guys so it doesn't get so repetitive. But let me know what you guys want to see more of on the channel. Also, hit that subscribe button, turn the post notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. I upload every Monday and Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Follow me on Instagram at DWExotics, and as always, stay exotic.